Hello, good evening. Hereford has been marking the centenary of the formation of the Royal Air Force. Hundreds of people packed the city's cathedral for a service of celebration. It also marked the final day of the Weeping Windows sculpture of poppies, which has been on display for six weeks. A reporter, Ben Sidwell, has been there. They packed into Hereford Cathedral, veterans, serving members and cadets, all here to celebrate the centenary of the RAF. RAF Hereford was here from 1939 to 1994, training many thousands of young men and women for the Royal Air Force. So there's a large veteran community, many of whom have attended the service this afternoon. Among the congregation, 98-year-old Doug Cox from Herefordshire, a bomber command during the Second World War. I personally have always felt that the RAF has been there and to suddenly realise that it's only a couple of years older than I am is quite amazing. And it wasn't just the centenary service attracting the crowds. Today also sees the final day of the Weeping Window poppy sculpture. In the six weeks it's been here at Hereford Cathedral, close to 200,000 people have come to visit. And it seems very fitting that it's outside, while well, inside the cathedral, the celebration of the centenary of the RAF takes place. Young and old, they come from across the country. So it's touched something very deep in people's lives. Joining forces to mark two very important centenaries. Today was a chance for the city to both celebrate and reflect. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands Today, Hereford.